again, I just say thank you for being here from all areas and all of the different agencies working together. Partnership is the key of all things. Today the celebration is about restoring mobility to the region. The detour route that was established after the landslide happened was US 160 to State Route 98, but that's 45 miles additional as compared to what you would be going along US 89. So we knew that wouldn't sustain itself for a long term. In order for people to commute, in order for children to get to school, in order for goods and services to be restored to the area, we started looking at what our other options were and Navajo 20 we felt would benefit the community as well as be able to have a shorter detour route. We are embarking on a, uh, a historic occasion and a partnership and cooperation in building this road. We have an emergency relief program called, we call it the ER program, that is designed to um, be able to respond to natural disasters on our roadways. So through that program, we've been able to provide funding, and this was unprecedented. We were able to provide two million for quick release funding, which allowed ADOT to immediately respond and put in the detour for emergency services, as well as shore up and study what happened. And then we were also able to provide 35 million for the detour of this route and 20 that we're here celebrating today. Okay, not fun. <laughs> We're happy to see this thing going to be funded, it's going to be paved. Matter of fact, they already started on it. The road will be substantially complete and paved by August 15th. Three months, that's fast. This is really a first step in, in being able to establish a detour route and be able to move forward on a long-term solution. ADOT, keeping Arizona moving.